Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Rachel? Rachel, what are you doing? We've got like 25 minutes till the show starts. I'm counting down till Chipotle's open. Oh, do you mean on Monday, if you go to Chipotle, some of the proceeds go to Post Brown? Yeah. Do you know anything else going on with the show? Yeah, Mr. GHS is tomorrow. Yeah, we've got that and more, so stay tuned because GTV News starts right now. Maddie, where are you going? Forget about Chipotle, we gotta go, the show starts. Here we go, five seconds, four, three, two, one, get up, sound close. Good morning, Geneva. Welcome back, and here are your announcements for February, Friday, February 15, 2013. And before we get to our normal announcements, we'll toss it over to Mr. Rogers, who has some info on the events going on here at GHS. Good morning, Geneva High School. Congratulations to our varsity girls basketball team on that fantastic regional championship victory last night. And now we've got a great weekend ahead with some exciting events. First, our varsity gymnastics team will be competing at Palatine High School starting at 5 p.m. tonight in the IHSA State Gymnastics Meet. They are the first team in school history to make it this far, so good luck, girls. Have a great weekend. Also, our boys are hosting senior night in basketball tonight against St. Charles North right here in the contest gym at 715. Good luck, guys. Tomorrow we have five boys representing Geneva High School in the IHSA sectional swim meet at St. Charles East. Tim Hope, Connor Todd, Cody Heckendorf, Eric Dalsassi, and Nathan Jasko will be swimming and representing Geneva High School. Good luck, fellas. And finally, tomorrow night is the annual Mr. GHS contest in the contest gym at 7 o'clock, followed by the first annual New York, New York dance in the Mac Olson gym. Tickets are on sale today for $5. That's the pre-purchase price. If you purchase at the door tomorrow night, that price is $6. And that ticket entitles you to the Mr. GHS competition, as well as the dance immediately following at 8.30 that lasts until 10.30. And I've been told we have a new DJ. So come on out and check it out and have a great evening. And everybody have a great weekend and good luck to everybody. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. As you saw before, Chipotle will be having a post prom front post prom. <laughs> sorry, guys. Post prom fundraiser on Monday at the Randall Road location. It will go from 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. Make sure to check it out and help contribute to post prom. Mr. GHS and New York New York dance tickets are on sale today for five dollars during all lunch hours. One ticket will get you into both events. If you do not buy a ticket during lunch, though, don't worry because you can buy one at the door for $6. For anyone interested in participating in a student-directed one acts this spring, please meet in B123 next Tuesday from 3 to 3.30. If you cannot attend, please see Ms. Dowd before Wednesday, February 20th. There is a career fair coming up on March 8th from 9.30 to 1 in the contest gym. You can attend during study hall or during your lunch hours and make sure you don't want to miss out on this wonderful opportunity. As Mr. Rogers said, last night there was a big win for the girls basketball team, but their success doesn't stop there as Taylor, Taylor Bozer is in the studio with a guest to tell us more about the game. Thank you ladies. Congratulations to the girls basketball team who dominated St. Charles East last night and are continuing on to the semi sectional semifinals against Wheaton Warrenville South on Tuesday. I'm here with Sydney Santos. How did the game go for you last night? Um, it went well. We were down by one going into halftime but then we picked up the intensity and end up, ended up winning by 24 so it was a great win for us. That's a nice job to the whole team. How did it feel playing in your first regional game since you've been out the past two years with injuries? It was very nerve-wracking. I, I get nervous really easily, so that didn't help either. But my team backed me up, and we just picked each other up when we made mistakes in the first quarter and came out stronger. So, 
All right, well, going forward, how is the team looking to continue their success? Um, we're just ready to keep going. We want this so badly and just picking up intensity in practice, um, working harder because it's not going to get any easier from here. So. All right, well, best of luck for you and make sure to come and watch the game on Tuesday and back to the desk. I'm Rachel Bryza. And I'm Madeline Happold. Have a wonderful day and a great long weekend.